Hello, hello today, I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today let me introduce you this banning testing equipment here. It's a dust ball voltage tester. Yeah, this device is really cool. It is on test light. A test lamp, a voltage tester or a mains tester. This is a piece of electronic test equipment used to determine the presence of electricity in a piece of equipment under test. A test light is simpler and less costly than a measuring instruction such as a multimeter and often suffices for checking for the presence of voltage on a conductor. Properly designed test lights included features to protect us users from accidental electric shock. And here it comes with the two contact test lights. The test lights is an electronic um, device by Benny here, which can um, show us that there is voltage, for example. And it has so many more mm, good things to check. We have a phase sequence test, counterclockwise and clockwise. A single pole phase test with the flash symbol, a red light emitted diode, a measurement point illumination, an acoustic and optical continuity test, the frequency measurement from 1 up to 1000 Hz, a voltage indication from 1 up to 1000 volt AC through RMS and 1200 volt DC. We can make a resistance measurement and diode test with conduction state voltage indication. IC display with background lightning. Non-contact cable break detector is possible. We load connectivity via large scale push buttons and vibrating alert in the handles. A shock resistant housing with protection against dust and water jets. That means it's, water, uh, it's protection class IP65 and rubberized test handles. And of course it comes with the Deutsche Industrie Norm EN 61243-3 and VDE 0682-401. This is a professional tool here for electrical testing. This device, the Dustball Digital, has an indication with LED and LCD. Voltage range from 1 up to 1000 VAC or 1 up to 1200 VDC. We can make a continuity test, a buzzer and a yellow LED, a phase sequence test, green LED, left right, a single pole test, a phase test, a polarity test, the load connection via push buttons is uh, yes, 550 milliampere. 30 milliampere FI triggering via push button is possible. Vibrating alert, measuring point elimination, resistance measurement from 0.1 kilo ohm up to 300 kilo ohm, diode test from 0.3 volt up to 2 volt, frequency measuring from 1 hot up to 1000. We have a non contact phase tester, cable, brake detector, yes, of course, with a yellow LED is flashing. The protection class IP65. And we have overload class CAT4 600 volt, CAT3 1000 volt. VDE and GS approval, of course. And the item number is 050263. 050263. You can see this awesome device can make so much to our safety. We, during the use, the t we touch the tester and the insulated handle. We only and do not touch the probe tips, of course, because they are not isolated. We check the voltage tester for correct functionality immediately before and after using in order to ensure the absence of voltage of an installation. We do not use the voltage tester if one or more indications are not working or if it does not seem to be ready for operation. So we have to repeat the test with another voltage tester after what? With the battery being exhausted, 
the voltage test is not fully functional. From a voltage of AC-DC more than 50 volt on, the voltage tests are also possible without the battery by means of the LED step indication. The LC display is activated with a minimum voltage of more than 150 volt AC-DC. The voltage tester must be used only within this stated nominal voltage range and in electrical installation of up to 1000 volt AC or 1200 volt DC. The voltage tester must be used only in electric circuits of over voltage category CAT3 with maximum 1000 volt or over voltage category CAT4 with maximum 600 volt for phase to earth measurements. We do not operate the device with the battery compound being open. The voltage tester is designed for being used by qualified electricians and under safe working conditions. The LED step indicator is intended for indication the voltage range. It is not intended for measuring purpose. Creating a voltage test for more than 30 seconds volt H, maximum duty cycle of 30 seconds, okay? We do not dismantle the voltage tester. The voltage tester must be profit against contamination and damaging of the house surface. To protect them against damaging, um, it has to provide the probe tips with the enclosed probe tip to protector after the use of the voltage tester. And then we can make so many awesome things with it. We can make a functional test before use to enter the absence of voltage of an installation, of course. We check the voltage tester of current functions immediately before and after using every time. And it's really easy. Automatically, it, w it works automatically. If we dock it into um, a socket, for example, and we can see a um, result, it is proper working. Or the device is switched off automatically after 10 seconds. So we do not have to switch it off. We can check the absence of voltage of an installation. Um, we can make a voltage test lower than 6 volt, that means a low volt function, or we can make an overload indication. If the voltage applied to the probes, tips 1 or 2, is higher than the atmosphere normal voltage, the OL symbol is shown on the LC display. We can make a load connection with a vibration motor. Um, and we can make an external conductor test, phase indication. So you can see, we can make so much with that awesome devices here. A continuity test, for example, a resistance measurement, and a diode test. A cable brake detector is included too. The cable brake detector is intended for the non-contact localization of cable brakes on exposed live lines. So we create voltage tester on by briefly activating the push button of the display handle L2, and when the device is switched on, the display shows OO. We fully grasp the display handle and pass the detector for over the lifeline from the feeding point phase in direction of the other end of the line. As long as the line is not interrupted, the yellow LED ohm for continuity is flashing. The point of the cable break has been located, located as soon as the yellow LED ohm symbol goes out. And measuring point display emulation is here. And we can replace the battery which is installed in it by ourselves. This is an awesome device. It helps us with so many steps in electrical um, working ranges. This is the banning, the really good banning. Multi, uh, it's not a multimeter, it's a tester, a display, a dispo voltage tester. Phase sequence test, single pole phase test, measurement point elimination, acoustic optimal continuous test, a lot of frequency measurements, voltage indication, resistance measurement, and diode test in only one device. And it's not a multimeter. An LC display, non contact cable brake detector, load connection, vibration alert, shock resistant, and it's from a good brand. This is the Banning Dose Ball. And this is the digital one of it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel.
Sun Sun.